What's up everybody, Mr. Dragonson here. We are back with some Wizard 101 Episode 4 actually. We got two episodes out of that last one, which I'm actually pretty happy with. Um today we are going to defeat the Harvest Lord and finish up Triton Avenue. But I looked into my bank again. We got a new staff. Just saying. We got a new staff, so I don't need the poopy old one. But also after Triton Avenue, we're probably going to do, like, the fishing side quests and, um, the, the pet side quests after we defeat the moon, or the moon lord, after we defeat the harvest lord and, like, finish up with Triton Avenue, I do want to do some more side quests. That's kind of what, that's kind of my goal, is to do, like main story and then side quest and then main story and then side quest and then main story then side quest kind of thing to keep it a even flow um if you guys don't want to see the side quest because it's too boring which i mean i don't know sometimes it's boring but it i think it's cool to show it all and stuff even if it's like just me speeding it up and stuff right but yeah, we are going to go to the Harvest Lord, so I will see you guys once I get there. Okay, I got a little mixed up. I thought the Harvest Lord was ah, in the whatever thing. You have been asked to enter a dungeon to go inside. Once you activate the sigil, a countdown will start. When the timer runs out, anyone yes, we know on the sigils. sigil will we go we know, the dungeon we know. with you. Don't worry, we know, we know. I am hoping I can defeat him by myself. I think it's going to be a little hard, but that's kind of what I want. I kind of want it to be In the back of the room, hard. you notice Archer, Susie's brother. So, wizard, you too have uncovered Malastare's plan. Too bad you will have to remain here with the other wizard. The both of you will be powerless to stop us. Soon the undead will drive out all the citizens and take over the rest of the city. And with the school in our hands, we will rule Wizard City. Ambrose will at last be crushed. <laughs> yeah, you need, you, need, you need to be taken down. Okay, they have the first move. First thing I'm gonna do is do the convert. Cause he's not gonna take a lot of damage, so I'm going to convert him. So now Myth is stronger against him, right? So, um, we can probably get him down with... Let's get rid of that Storm Prism. Let's get rid of the Thunder Snake. Let's do, let's do Clash on this guy. That's a decent hit. That's a decent hit. Okay. Oh yeah, I also think this, th this, um, my staff either always gives me two pips or there's a chance of getting two pips. That's why I have three right now. That's pretty strong. Okay, so now we have four. Hmm. Eighty. This does seventy. Let's just try it. Let's try it. If I have to use a fairy, I can use a fairy. It's okay. Okay, that did. Mm. Oh, that key, that, yeah, that doesn't kill him. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just use Earthwalker on the Harvest Lord. Okay, that, that's nature, it's okay. If Oh my goodness, I think we're gonna have to restart this. Okay, well I'm gonna self-heal. No. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Mm. Well actually I am self-healing and I still have 
a decent amount of pips. So. Okay, let's just get rid of the rotting fodder. He's gonna do a big attack. I don't know what he's gonna do, but it's gonna be somewhat big. Oh. Never mind, it's just the imp. I'm resistant to snake, so that's okay. Let's just get rid of him. I didn't really need to charm him, but it gives me an extra pip, so. Okay. So now let's get rid of some of this stuff. Don't need that anymore. Won't need Thunder Snake. Let's. If I give him a Lightning Bat, I'll still get whatever, so. Thank you for the fizzle. Please don't fizzle. Please don't fizzle. Please don't fizzle. Yes, okay. Now that I have a lot of pips, I should. Ooh, okay, you're going down. Going down unless you kill me right now. Which I don't think it will. Oh. Let's go. Come on, don't fizzle. That's all you need to do. All you need to do is not fizzle. Yes. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, look at this beast. Let's go, boy. Let's go. You're dead. Peace. Thank you for freeing me, my friend. I feared that no one was ever going to find me. Please, go and tell my sister that I am safe. I know I have worried her so. May the winds of chance bring us together once more, wizard. Harvest Lord Chest. I think this is crowns. We also got a tough. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, we need to spend 50 crowns. Okay, I'm not doing that. I don't want to... I don't care about sword magic. History lessons... That was insane. But okay, I'll 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 be back once I'm with Susie. Okay, let's tell Susie that her brother is safe. You saved Arthur from the Harvest Lord. Heck yeah! Thank I you, did. young wizard. I don't know what I would have done had I lost him. You'd better tell the headmaster what has happened here. He needs to be informed on what's happening in Wizard City. Okay, I'm going to leave a marker here though. Let's just check that. I don't want that anymore. Um, what did we get? This. 32. That's. Mm. No, I don't like health stuff. I don't know why. I just. It's not my thing. I'd rather get defense or attack or accuracy over health. Because health is. Like, health is good. But I feel like in a battle, 32 won't be make or break my. My stuff, my, if I win or not, right? Okay, let's go talk to Merle. Let's go talk to Headmaster Ambrose. Ambrose. By Bartleby, you defeated the Harvest Lord? Oh, not many students can make that claim. Good work, young wizard. The Harvest Lord mentioned that he was helping Malastare. We need to find out what Malastare's plans are. If Wizard City is ever to return to the nice place it once was, it's hard to run a school with all the monsters running amok. Many thanks to you for straightening everything out on Triton Avenue, young wizard. <sighs> I fear the worst is not over yet. I want you to introduce yourself to Diego, the Duel Master. He manages the arena. The arena is just inside the entrance to Unicorn Way on the right. And then pet sounds. Okay, so Have we'll you do had this a stuff. Chance to visit the new pet pavilion in the Commons. It's a wondrous place where pets can be trained, hatched, and can even race against their friends. It's quite easy to find. Just head towards the library. I was wondering if you might do me the favor of delivering this parcel to Milo Barker, the ringmaster of the Pet Derby. Oh, have a care not to crush or drop it. <laughs> that wouldn't be at all pleasant. Headmaster Ambrose hands you a box with some air holes punched in the top. It makes a slight grunting noise when you shake. Please convey this item to Ringmaster Barker. Post haste. He shall reward you handsomely for your efforts. Ah, you've been working hard. Come see me. I have something new to teach you. Okay, now with all that information, we're going to... What is the other thing? Okay, yes, 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 yes. 
Please come see me as soon as you can. Okay. So first, I'm going to talk to the frog to get a new uh, spell because I, I want the new spell. And then we're going to Dueling Diego and then Pets Pavilion. Okay, what's up, Storm Guy? Thermic Shield, which did we get? Fire and Ice, which is free. Okay, so now let's go into our spell deck. And we have full. So let's, let's like, add one of those. We don't need three storm prisms, I don't think. Lighting mats are nice to have. And then, let's just two everything. And then, yeah, that should be good. Okay. Okay, so next is dealing Diego, and I will get to him and be back. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Greetings. My name is Diego Santiago Corriquez Ramirez III, champion duelist. The duel master bows with a great flourish of his cape. I know we've met. The arena is a wondrous place. Students come here to hone their skills with magic, practice against others, and gain endless glory and fame. To try your hand against your classmates, enter the arena and step into the duel circle. If you train well, perhaps you can develop skills to rival even the great Malister, yes? What a duelist he was. He's the only person I would not want to duel in a real fight. Luckily, we only sparred for practice. Oh, speaking of Malister, did you know that he and Cyrus are twin brothers? I wouldn't be surprised if Cyrus was helping Malister with all this maze in Wizard City. You should tell Ambrose to keep an eye on Cyrus. Cool. Now we have a couple others to do. Wizard, at last you have come! Any longer and I may have perished under the weight of this disrespect. You see, my friend? I have been burgled. A priceless family heirloom was stolen by my most archest of nemesis, my evil twin brother, Roberto. He's wanted the item since we were caught. I tried to confront the fiend, but he secured himself behind a wooden skeleton lock. A powerful wood I thought only a legend. Until now. I'm certain there's a way to unlock the bony barrier, but I'm too busy training new students in the combative arts to do the research myself. However, I did hear there's a new assistant in the library whose focus is in the skeleton locks and keys. Could I impose upon you to consult him? Okay. Aha! Hello there, my friend. Headmaster Ambrose has asked me to show you more of the art of dueling. Most excellent. This will take but a few minutes. Enter the door to the arena to begin. Okay, so what do we want to do first? Not that one, because that's the main quest. Um... Our daily bread, no, no, no. You know what? Let's just let's just do the the, the the dueling. Let's just let's just do it. Welcome, my friend, to the dueling arena. You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? No. Outstanding. Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lesson. I've done this so many times. Let us begin by explaining power points. You may call them pips for short. Pips. Power points are magical energy. Gaining pips allows you to cast more powerful spells. Every round, you will receive another pip. You can see the number of pips each participant has by looking at this circle around their feet. Yes. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left-hand corner. You can only cast a spell if you have enough pips to do so. Let us start with one spell with a pip cost of two. But you only have one pip. You can also oh. use a zero rank spell if you want to save up power pips. Yes, I do that. Good! You have passed and gained another pip. With two pips, you can now cast a troll spell. Ah, but look! You have drawn another card. Tough. This is an enchantment card. Enchantment cards can be used to improve the other cards in your hand. Let me show you. Click, and now click on... Look what has happened. The card has been enchanted to do more damage. Now it is a treasure card. Unused treasure cards go back into your deck at the end of the duel. Now, since you have two pips, you can cast the troll at the puppet. I need to start using treasure cards. That's something I actually need to start doing. Yeah, get, get, get. Now you are back to one pip, yes? Let us give you another hand. With only one pip, you cannot cast any of these third rank spells. But wait, there's another way. Let me show you. I've given you a power pip. See? At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip instead of a normal pip. Power pips count double, but 
only for spells in your class. Mm. Now you have one pip and one power pip. That means you can cast any second rank spell that you wish. Or you can use a third rank spell in your school of focus. One point for the pip, plus two points for the power pip. See? The card for your school is now available to you. Mm. Cast it at the puppet now. This is actually kind of good because I somewhat forget. And power pips like you never get until later on. Outstanding! Now let us look at another type of spell card. Okay, let's... A ward can be used to protect you against future attacks. This is a fire ward. When you cast it on someone, it will hang in front of them waiting to... The next incoming fire spell would... Let me show you. Yes, Cast this okay. fire ward upon yourself. Very good! See how I this fire know, ward though, hangs shields. near your feet? Watch how it can protect you. Let's see, let's see how can it protect you. Whoa. Do you see? The fire ward has activated and helps you resist most of the damage from this attack. Yeah. That I didn't know about. Let's try one more hanging spell. Cast it on yourself and see what happens. Ice blade. I haven't gotten really any of these kind of spells yet, though. Charms are the opposite of ward. Ward's effect spell. Cast this frost beetle at the puppet. Let's see how the at charm the works. I'm going to skip through some of this because I can explain it. The ice blade you gives you plus Your 40%. Ice beetle has triggered the ice charm. Now the ice beetle is more powerful. Yes. Now let us cover one more type of hanging effect. The aura spells. Aura spells affect the target over multiple rounds of combat. For example, the fire elf spell will cause 240 points of fire damage spread over three rounds. Let's see how it works. Cast a fire elf at the puppet. <laughs> Yes. And pass and pass again. Good. Now watch what happened. Now another. And again. Excellent. You have defeated him and completed your lesson. I hope you have found our lesson to be most helpful. Some of it was. Good luck, my friend. Okay, now we can leave. Because now we need to go talk to that one guy. We need to go talk to this guy. Talk to Clawtho. Talk to Clawtho in the bandit room. Talk to Clawtho. Yeah, I wouldn't mind actually doing side quests. Because it levels me up a little bit. Like, it gives me a little XP. And I'm kind of a completionist, like I like doing everything. Clortho is upstairs? Uh, he looks a lot bigger. I didn't realize that those were wings, I thought that those were like oh, can I his help shoulders. You? Diego the Duel Master seeks information about a wooden skeleton lock. Why, that happens to be my field of expertise. Skeleton locks are enchanted doors that can only be opened by a corresponding key. Thus, Diego's wooden lock requires a wooden skeleton key. Isn't that mm -hmm. most locks? But those keys are typically quite difficult to come by, coveted as they are by what I call bad folk. And they shatter after only one use. Fortunately for you, I have a wooden skeleton key I can part with if you take this key ring with you on your adventure. The key ring detects nearby skeleton keys and sends data back to me for my continuing research. <laughs> Plus, it will mark your map with key location. Well, I bid you and Diego good luck with whatever waits behind that wooden skeleton lock. I'm counting on you to explore the entire spiral. <laughs> okay. You found your first skeleton key. These enchanted keys unlock powerfully warded doors, behind which you'll discover great reward. Different types of skeleton keys will open different kinds of locks, so pay attention. And each skeleton key can only be used. Remember that great reward okay, is often won only Whatever. through great risk, so be wary of the monsters I'll be back. behind da, da, da. locked doors. Okay, let's talk to Diego. You're back! What did the librarian's assistant say? 
Mm. We need a wooden skeleton key? Of course! Curse this bad luck! What's that? The librarian's assistant gave you a wooden skeleton key? I knew you'd come through for me! That's why I hate to beg another favor of you. Will you duel Roberto and recover my precious heirloom? Let me explain. As much as I would love to battle my brother, honor forbids it. You see, Roberto and I both made an oath to our mother on her deathbed that we would never take up arms against family. So I cannot fight him. However, we also made an oath to our father on his deathbed that we never back down from a challenge. So I must fight him. You see my difficult. Roberto stole the heirloom knowing I'd be unable to personally retaliate. But there is no dishonor. If I send a proxy, especially not if that proxy is my most prized pupil who learned everything they know about dueling from me! <laughs> Thank you, my friend. You can find Roberto in his hidden way. I'll mark your map. Okay, looks like we're going to Old Town to play Roberto. Okay, here we are at Roberto's. It looks like... Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can do it. See if we can beat this son of a man stealing or horse stealing heirloom theft bastard. Sorry for my harsh language, but. Oh, that's where we have to use the skeleton key. Okay, well. One skeleton removed from inventory. Ooh. See, this skeleton key thing is new. He's only a rank two boss. <laughs> You've loved right into my trap, my foolish bra. Wait, you are not my brother. Does that coward, Diego, send a child to fight his battles? So be it. Excuse me? You're going down. First things first, boom. He's fire, so. Okay. Second thing, second. I want. Don't need storm prisms in this one. He is 350, right? So I guess I can just use lightning bats twice. It'd be cool if he used an ice spell. Mm. Lightning bats again. I could have finished him off with the snake, but you know, go big or go home, right? Like. I like how he bows. That's pretty Enough! Cool. Ah, here, give the baby his toy back. I only stole it to irk him, but it's no fun if I don't get to see the look on his stupid face. Besides, he clearly isn't lucky at all. Couldn't even help me defeat a lowly whelp like you. Just take the piece of junk and get out! Get out of here! What a rude person, jeez. Okay, Roberto's rape here. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want that. Okay, let's go back to Diego. That's the guy's name. Diego. Okay. Hey, Diego. You got your thing back. Return with my great grandsire's lucky unicorn shoe. I know that scoundrel Roberto would be no match for my favorite pupil. It's a good thing the librarian's assistant that no one had ever heard of before literally had the key to solving this problem, no? Indeed! <laughs> Just see, my friend, this unicorn shoe brings luck to everyone! Well, for everyone but Roberto, that is. <laughs> hey, thank you again! Okay, and he doesn't have any more quests. So... Um, let's go talk to Merle. 
why not get that out of the way and see what we have to do next? I'm guessing if we just talk to him and then it ends. Like, I don't think it'll... Oh, no. Okay. Na, na, na. Yeah, I don't think it'll, like, continue on another quest line, because... Oh, maybe well. No, no. Diego okay. thinks that Cyrus is helping Malastia cause all this trouble on Wizard City, eh? Oh, Diego shouldn't be spreading foolish rumors. Cyrus is a good professor. I trust him completely. I'm sure you heard that Malastia Drake used to teach at the death school. He was once one of our best professors, very powerful and compassionate. He loved discovering secrets of power. The only thing he loved more than power was his wife, Sylvia. May she rest in peace. If only she was still with us, things might be different. But even death cannot be undone. Oh, Speaking yeah, of yeah. issues concerning Malastia, one of his favorite students, a boy named Duncan Grimwater, has been tackling a ghost problem over on Triton Avenue. Yeah, I know. I Can know. you inquire as to whether he has heard anything from his old professor? We need to know if Malastia has been contacting former students. Okay, well... I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm going to go talk to Milo. Been oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always weapon. Oh my god, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I